Legion baseball season is underway. Opening day this afternoon for the Rebels at Hallowell Field, hosting Blackfoot for a doubleheader. We'll take you to game one. The Rebels are up big, heading into the bottom of the fourth inning. Gavin Flynn looking for more. The third baseman sends it back up the middle on a line, and it gets into the outfield. He's on first base with the single to get things started. Later on, cleanup man Preston Fultz steps into the box, and he reaches out and pokes one just into shallow center field. The center fielder races after it, but it drops in. A runner scores from third, and Fultz has himself an RBI double. The Rebels are looking for more with two runners in scoring position, but check out the reflexes from Jace Cooper at short. He snags it out of the air and applies the tag for the double play. What a play there from Cooper. Then a swinging strikeout gets Blackfoot out of the jam. It's a dropped third strike on the play, so there's the throw to first to finish it off. Cash Stuckey lights out pitching for the Rebels. There's one backwards K. The next batter steps in. There's another. Now Stuckey opts for the high heat. And he gets the third man swinging. Stuckey strikes out the side in order. The Rebels knocking on the door of a run rule win. And there's two men on for who but Stuckey. Helping himself out at, at the plate. Bloops one into shallow center field. that drops in out there. And two runs come around to score. That finishes off game one. The Rebels win it 11-1 to the final. The Idaho Falls Chuckers in action over in Boise tonight, moving to a record of 3-1 after another victory. Chuckers dropped opening day, but responded by winning two in a row at Melaleuca Field in the victory tonight. Now the Chuckers and Hawks are playing out this Idaho rivalry on social media, showing off the Idaho Transportation Department Highway Series trophy. It currently belongs to the Hawks based on last season's performance, but the Chuckers are working to bring it back home to the Luke as soon as possible. WNBA star Brittany Griner has been in Russian detention for 100 days now and has more to go. In early May, a Russian court extended her pretrial detention until at least June. Russian authorities say Griner had cannabis oil in her luggage when returning from a trip in February. She's also accused of smuggling significant, amount, significant amounts of a narcotic substance, an offense punishable by up to 10 years in prison. The U.S. State Department has classified Griner as being wrongfully detained. The sports world has continued to, the, to react to the school shooting earlier this week in Uvalde, Texas. In MLB last night, the New York Mets held a moment of silence before their game against the Philadelphia Phillies to honor the victims. On Thursday, the New York Yankees and Tampa Bay Rays opted to tweet facts about gun violence during their game rather than their typical game coverage. And San Francisco Giants manager Gabe Kapler said yesterday he no longer plans on exiting the clubhouse for the playing of the national anthem, saying he, could, he will continue to remain in the clubhouse until he feels better about the direction of the country. That'll do it for sports. Back to you, Kylie. All right, thank you very much, Joey.